Hey guys, it's Frozen Joe. It's Mother's Day, 2015. I'm here to review Desert King, the Breba Crop. Guys, I've been doing these video reviews here for a couple of years now. And um, this is a tree I've reviewed before. But I just want to show you guys the progression of how they're growing. These trees mature over time and they really do a better job as they mature of ripening fruit, producing more fruit. So I just want to show you guys kind of how this one is doing. It's my Desert King tree. It's, um, it's got a lot of figs on it. It's getting to the point I can't really reach some of the upper figs. So I leave some of those for the birds. And you know how they are, man. They get greedy. They start wanting to try to fight through the bags and get all the figs. That's just what they do. But the tree produces a lot of Breba fruit all over. They're just all in there. You can see the birds there. They're getting at it. Even some of the ones with the baggies on it, they figure out how to poke a hole through the bag or kind of like open the bag up and get in there. That's just what they do, guys. But there's still plenty of figs. When a tree gets to be a good size, there's still plenty of figs on it. For me and the birds and my family. So just pick this one. It's a Desert King Breba. This tree has been ripening fruit for about a week or so now. It'll keep ripening for a few more weeks. And then when it starts to wind down, it's pretty much when the main crop will start on other trees. See the eye? And I used to use a cell phone for my fig videos, but I actually got a decent camcorder, guys. I hope you can tell the difference. See the eye? It's a pretty good size. Pretty good size fig. Alright, let me cut this open. Now, figs are variable, you know, with their appearance based on climate. And something I found is that when the crop on a tree first starts, whether it be the main crop or the breba crop, a lot of times, like, the first week or so, you know, the figs, as they're starting to ripen, they don't ripen quite as nice as, like, once that tree's been ripening fruit for a while, then it really starts just ripening them real nice. So this one, you see there's some red in there. It's almost like there's some red mixed in. It's like a pinkish sort of thing mixed in with some amber color. And um, I find as this tree just, you know, over time, like it'll just kind of ripen them better. They'll get more red in there as, as it goes on over time. <clears throat> but this is how they look right now and should be nice and sweet and tasty. Desert King. Desert King, remember, produces the Breba crop, not the main crop. Let me taste it. Mmm. That's delicious. Sweet. Has like a delicate but rich flavor. Very, very nice. I love this tree because it just gives you that jump on the season. And the tree continues just to grow and mature. And I decided I'm going to let some of my trees just get bigger because I want some shade from them. Mmm. So nice. It's delicious, guys. Guys, it's Desert King. It's a good tree. Some starlings trying to get up in my tree again. Guys, it's a good tree. What is that? Some kind of sparrow. It's a good tree, guys. It's Desert King. Really delicious Breba crop. Good sized figs. Sweet, rich flavor. Really delicious. And it gives you a good sized crop. You know, about a month or so before that main crop starts to ripen. So, it's a great tree. I really like it. And I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Take care.